Okay, really sorry guys, just rushing into game 2 completely Or the next game completely screwed me over So a little bit guys, sorry guys for the mic being, mic being muted But it's fine now Holy crap, just rushing into games sucks Donkey balls That's all I have to say about this But we are here And we can finally properly cast this Yes, the tri lanes at the moment looks like first part should have a slight edge there as well as farm goes. Actually, farm wise, bottom lane Duffa 23 and 6 compared to 19 and 1, rather even. But mid lane Ember Spirit is kind of manhandling the Death Prophet. He is 30 and 10 compared to the Death Prophet's 18 and 1. Definitely something you don't see every day, especially considering that Death Prophet actually doesn't have any deaths. I'm not too sure what or when. If some heroes were in the mid lane just helping out KS at the start to just for him to get the farm But whatever the case may be just look at him. He wants to go, but he gets blocked by his own creeps. How unfortunate is that? Just too unfortunate is the right word for it too unfortunate Yes, the trial is still farming away miracle on his Wraith King almost about to hit level 5 once he gets level 6 They can easily just try to even tower dive potentially he has the magic stick to get the burst mana in case he drops too low for the reincarnation threshold by while using the Rayfire Blast. And Disruptor, he definitely isn't the best hero defensively uh, in a tri lane. I mean, yes, he has the glimpse, but for example, Kai, he can just play fear out the glimpse and just keep on with the pressure. But oh, the Fisher comes out on the wrong side, the two heroes. Miracle, are they gonna go in? Kai, he's tanking up the tower. Healing Ward comes down. Duffa, he DPs in as well on the Rage Prophet. The Blade Fury, nope, the right clicks bring him down. But, is it gonna be enough La Vida? Oh, he gets the glimpse just before the last right click. Brave Fire Blast finishes the kill, but they're dropping low Duffa. He's completely in no man's land. Koala, he joins the fight. He's out of mana, but it's gonna be enough. He's gonna burn down Miracle as well. One stick and a bomb charge. Brave Fire Blast. Oh, can they get the counter kill? No, one more right click. That's all they need. KS, he joins the fight. Can't make up his mind which one to go for. But now, they are chasing him down as well. He's out of remnants. First departure, they went in way too damn deep. Now, cheering chains. They connect, but... Will it be enough? One Crypt Swarm, something. Flame Guard is there as well, it's gonna expire. Come on, Crypt Swarm! Hero Crypt Swarm! Bam, you're faster, go for it, go! Nope, not gonna go for it, a little bit too late by now as well. So okay, yes, he at the very least makes it out. Thank God for them, first departure. Just horrible exchange. Kai tanked up the tower for a little bit too long. Maybe if they had just gone for a stun straight out, but... They weren't too coordinated, Miracle. Didn't want to throw up a Ray Fire Blast and they just... They were going aggressive in the means that they were so far under the tower as stuff also TP'd in, but they kind of, I don't know, not failed, but they didn't go for the kills, they just tried to semi-push some of them, tried to go for the kills maybe, so they didn't have a unified shot calling there. But now, Kim Mi Young, he has level 6, he has the Doom as well, he's gonna find Lobby, but he's gonna go for Kai, nope, he pops the Doom on Lobby, Kai can't really do too much, Fisher comes out as well, Duffa wants to TP in, but would have been on the wrong side as it is anyway, so... Make it 6-6 six to six now, 8 minutes into the game. Nice, Wrath of Nature bounces around as well. Nature Prophet actually... They get the kill with this. Patrider goes down, Miracle lost his reincarnation for that kill. But it's a worth it raid. I mean, yes, it's a long cooldown on reincarnation on level 1. But they can also do some damage now on the tower. Miracle still not actually tower aggro. Now he switches the tower aggro to the creeps. Death Prophet, Brameezy, gets himself that uh, double damage rune. So with that he can actually put some pretty good harass onto the Ember Spirit even with the Flame Guard activated. Although Searing Chains comes out KS, he's doing so much damage actually under the tower. He might even get the kill, the remnants. Is it gonna be enough? Slight of Fist comes through. He needs a little bit more but the double damage the tower is all. One more creeps for He might actually go down and yes, from easy. He does turn it around. The stop lane Lavida sets up one kill Kai. Magic stick. Oh man, is he gonna escape? Nope. Right clicks too much. They did kill off Tombringer before. But the two for one exchange definitely not worth it. Especially since Earth Seeker now. He's level 6. We'll have his arcane boots, Lavida. Pretty close to his own as well, 200 gold away only, as well as him. Actually, bottom lane Miracle might be in trouble, or the same applies to Koala. He was slowed down by Miracle's Brave Fire Blast. He's gonna go again, I think so, he does get it, but Koala a little bit too far under the tower. He's gonna get the deny on the tower though. He very well might... He's bottling up as well, Duffa. He's around with pretty much full HP, mana pool should be high enough as well as so the tower. Not gonna get denied unless Koala. How good can you be, Flame Break? No, not gonna happen. Just very fair blast. But Miracle completely out of mana. Going for a later hand of Midas as well at the moment. After the power threads and the magic stick. Kai picks himself up the Tranquil Woods. 
But Promisi, Death Prophet, 3 0 0 all of a sudden. And he was struggling with last hits, but now 42 compared to the 46. Definitely catching up. Not only just getting kills, but also just pure farm creep farm wise. Uh, well played. Hand of Mine's actually finished now as well on Miracle, so. Pretty fast timing considering he also went for Power Trest before and was in an aggressive tri lane. But switching to Network, he's number one from Easy, will be second. Looking at the super early graphs as well. Two and a half thousand gold lead for first departure. XP though, two thousand for zero latitude. But Koala, he is definitely not safe, especially considering that his Firefly is about to end. Oh, the support. I should call He's running to the right direction. Sprout, anything. Brave for Blast to set it up first. Sprout to hold in place for a little bit longer. From easy. He's gonna hex up by lobby. Shackles will they follow? No, they're not gonna go for it. But the spin, the blade fury from Kai will probably be enough. Lobby just gonna help out a little bit. And KS, he kills deals with a slight of fist. Level 2. Actually, does he want to go for more? He has the region rune. They might find from easy. He doesn't have the exorcism. But now they're not gonna go that deep. KS, he learned, le <laughs> learned his lesson from the last time. So we are almost 11 minutes in kill score 9 to 9 which means a pretty decent amount of action has been had already. Surprise, he, yeah, I heard the teleport Tafa, he came in, going for a necrobook as well straight out, no hand of might, it's just power to necrobook, oh but look at Crypt Swarm with the Fisher so much damage but suddenly healing ward down, they should be fine, Master Pet Wars as well, you can't spam those down with spells, no way, actually oh they get the Searing Chains of Death Prophet, no follow up. They aren't ballsy enough, Kai doesn't have his Omni Slash, and even if he did, wouldn't have enough mana for his lobby. Does have enough for their game, but look at Koala, no blink, but he's coming in from the side, Tafa, he's going at Glimpse back, Static Storm, he's in caught, in the kinetic field, gonna go down immediately, Echo Slam onto two as well, KS, still fighting though, is he gonna be able to escape one remnant, he has more, regioned up, nothing gonna cancel it, but lobby going for the TP, no, not the TP, man, he's getting tombed. Doom is not the TP, I don't know why I thought, maybe he tried to TP and got tombed after, no, he didn't, so... I guess the Doom Circle remind me, reminded me of the TP Circle, if only it was that. If only the, the, the Doom would TP you, TP you to the safety of your own home. That would be a retarded spell. Send your enemy back home. But, Pramisi might be trouble searing chains, they will get the kill this time around. Dwarf of an Ancient bounce around it. Oh, speak, I didn't cancel his TP! He gets the Fisher before the Rayfire Blast though, Enchant Totem to follow up as well. The Sprout up, actually they're caught in. Koala, he comes in now, he has the lasso, but no, he's gonna get stunned up. Shackled up as well by Lobby. That fight, this engagement, three heroes down plus a tier one for first departure. This will net them a pretty huge just win in that fight. Especially considering what they lost in the bottom lane before. So 12 to 1 now. A crap ton of action. Crap ton. That's the only way to put it. 2.3k gold in the bank of Miracle at the moment as well. Can go for the blink dagger, that's exactly what he does. So they will get the initiation now, Ember Spirit just doesn't have to go YOLO mode with his Fire Remnants to just initiate for their team. Kai, also level 6 now, has Tranquil Boots though, so he's gonna have a pretty hard time of actually just being able to pop his Healing Ward, Blade Fury and the Omni Slash. Might be going for drums or something like that, or if he wants to transition into a semi-carry later on along the way, might even go for the Hand of Midas. Wouldn't be too bad of an item pickup, Merak not Miracle. Tafa gets the Necro level 1 as well, not popping it yet though, they don't need it for this tower, or today, Spika. He's hanging around, as is Promisi, Promisi level 10, he's only half a level away from the just level 2 exorcism and KS. He wanted to go in, at least he sent a remnant forward. He has to be careful though, just not to get doomed. They need to hex up the doom and just try to kill him before he activates his ultimate. Like literally no hero wants to get doomed, Miracle, he might. He wouldn't mind, I think. Blink in. Can he get the stun? Yes, he can, Doom. Will there be enough follow-up? Okay, yes. He's gonna get the Searing Chains onto Doom at the very least. Couldn't get La Vida, but don't think he minds too much. Ref Nature bounces around to get the kill. Master Pet was down under the tier 2, but look at this damage coming out. Oh my god, they need only a little bit more. Blade Fury staircase. KS. He wants to go for the Searing Chains. They will get the kill. Silent. Glimpse, just a little bit too late. Miracle, he wanted to get La Vida as well. But, oh, Spica, they know he's there. They saw the Slight of his Connect guy. He's gonna say hello. Although the Fisher's there, going for the TP out. Ray Fire Blast cancels it. And bye bye Spyka. Or is it yet Flame Break comes out Koala? No blink dagger yet though. 40 minutes and still no blink. This game not, not looking too good for zero latitude. 15 to 11 now. Looking at the graphs. Wow. It's safe to say that this spiraled quickly. 11,000 gold lead for first departure. XP also almost a 6k swing. So now about 3k. A little bit less in the favor of first departure as well. And Miracle is going for a blade mail. Unless he has it flying out. Nope. But he's going for it. 
Uh, Juggernaut straight up Agony Scepter. Point booster, of course, gives him some decent enough mana pool as well to help out with just him being able to use all of his abilities in this rapid succession. And yes, I'm gonna update the score as well now because the other game is over. Score PR1 1, one he, he he. Zero latitude, zero, zero, first departure. Double score, if any of you can understand what it says. And yes, I was like a complete retard reading what I type. But otherwise I would have been silent and you wouldn't have to heard nothing, but this Roshan is definitely not the fastest and they're even gonna just kind of give up on it. Just leave the three ends and the Juggernaut in there. That's that's a weird decision, I mean, just soft an approach for maybe Zero Light to, to come in and snatch it. Okay, yes, I want to go for Kim Me Young. Kim Me Young. Serum Chase Connect. But he doesn't want to go in too deep against the Doombringer level death. No, he just... Straight, as he saw an animation coming out from Doombringer, he backed the hell out, just straight out fire element away. It has begun. Volvo, what? Volvo, why you not give us techies? <laughs> yeah, it has begun indeed. We need upvotes. But Roshan, it's gonna go down in the meantime. 60 minutes into the game. Brave King, Miracle, he picks up the ages, so... He's gonna have triple life if his reincarnation comes off cooldown by the time or before he dies. But KS, he wants to go in. Koala might be in trouble. Searing Chase, they connect with the Slight of Fist. They will get the glimpse from Lovita, but he left the remnant behind. He was smart. Although Koala might still be safe or never mind me. Chuggernaut Omni slash for the win. For the win! But Lobby, oh, he gets the hex before the Fisher came out. I think he's still in no man's land. Static Storm can hit but that's only for a support who even got the Master Penters off before. So they're dealing the damage back. Can he TP out from there? Yes, he can. The Miracle is dropping low, but he has the Aegis. He's gonna come back up high. He got doomed up, but he's gonna be fine with the healing for war, just keeping them alive. Shockwave coming through from Kim Young and the silence. Is it gonna be enough? Exorcism flying through its level two as well. I guess it's it's still a cool trade, of course, for first departure. And Static Storm Kinetic Field used on one support who used his ultimate. It's not the most optimal thing you can look for. So 17 to 12 now. Goldcraft nearing 14,000 XP, nearing 5,000. It's safe to say first departure. They are looking good in this game, number one. But Blink Dagger is finally picked up on Koala. So they're gonna have some in proper initiation power now as well. They can just lasso somebody into a Doom, for example. As KS. Wow, go for a Desolator. I haven't seen that for a long, long time. I love Ember Spirit Desolator. I absolutely do. Especially if you just have the Wraith King, wanted to do some physical damage, just go man mode. And look at Lobby. He almost has his Blink Tiger as well, just needs another 130 gold. I was kind of expecting for KS to leave the farm to him, but... Greedy mid laner, greedy Ember Spirit. Bad boy, bad boy. And the Stormbringer, of course, as well. He's gone for the Utility Doom. Mech as well as Arcane Boots. Speaking of Mech, don't think anybody on first departure will go for one. Sure doesn't look like it at the moment, but Juggernaut. He's getting so close to his Angry Scepter. So Desolator for the minus armor, just Juggernaut right clicking away, popping his ultimate as well. And just Wraith King. You have so much damage, I mean, plus of course, minus armor on the towers help how Master Pet Wars to push faster. And Lobby, he has his blink now. Do they want to jump at Koala, of course, has his own blink as well. Who's gonna get the jump first? Observer Wards? Actually, two of them are down from Zero Latitude to Demon, just to make sure. Okay, yes, TP's back home, wants to get full mana, leaves a random behind. So he can join the fight, but Koala, he sees Kai, who are they gonna go for a miracle? He's gonna jump spike at the same time, Koala, he gets hexed up immediately after the lasso. Now, where's the Doom gonna go on? He's holding on to, he's gonna get shackled, but the Static Storm will ensure the kill on Kai, Miracle gonna fall as well. Reincarnation popped out Levita, it's a 2-4-2 two, two so far. Actually, 2-4-1 for one as the Reincarnation was one of them, okay, yes, he had the double damage rune. 3 for one and the Reincarnation, but oh, Spiker, the Silence of the KS, no, did you go do deep again? I think so, Remnants, no, it's not gonna be enough, the tower, with the right clicks of the Death Prophet, the Silence, preventing him from escaping before, so, he definitely went way too greedy, just, what? Backdoor protection? Oh man, they can't fight it, they, you cannot fight the backdoor protection, it's too strong, you need Master of Wars, but it's gonna end now, creeps arrive. But KS, if he had not gone that deep, they could have just pressured the high ground now with Master of Wars, but since they did, I don't think they will go. It would be just kind of feeding away the Master of Wars. Although all the outer towers actually have been destroyed already as well. So some pretty, pretty good plays from first departure, I have to say. Let me just change something as well in the meantime. 
Trying to get small openings to just fix stuff. Fix stuff. Update the titles and whatnot. It's hard. It's hard to just jump in straight into Dota TV after the last game. Like literally not a half a minute pause between. So who are we playing? First departure. Yes, of course. This 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 is too annoying, too annoying. Need co casters to do that. But I must handle. Must handle it. And top lane looks like he is. He wants to go in Koala though. It wouldn't have been the smartest choice up against Alesso and the Doombringer. KS could have just asked for certain death with that almost. At least when he was alone or maybe with only one hero to help out. But Labi now. Not only does he have his blink there, he also has the point booster. Man, look at the graphs again. 8k XP lead. 16,000 gold. It looks like they really want to keep going. They get the searing chains on the Doombringer as well. Kai. Is he gonna go for it? Yes, he's gonna go for it. The mech comes up, but it's not gonna be enough. The Agony Scepter. Uh, Omni Slash is enough, and he played first himself to safety or no. The block is still there from the Fisher. Is it gonna be enough? Kinetic Field catches Lobby and Koala. He's gonna come back in Lobby. He can't get a single spell off the Silence. Was there for a little bit too long. Koala, they're gonna get Shining Chains up. He's gonna go down to the right clicks of the Desolator Ember Spirit. And even the Static Storm was kind of baited out there. So no Static Storm, two heroes down. Doom has the buyback if needs be. But Miracle pushing out the top lane in the meantime. And 1.9k gold on top of his already finished Maelstrom as well. Looking good, but K is gonna get stunned, silenced up as well. Kinetic field a little bit too late. The glimpse is back. Can he remnant himself out? Oh, he's not gonna even have the need to try it. He has three remnants even to just go berserk if they want to go for fight, for example. Lobby, he's gonna come back as well. He has the Master Bird Wars. They are level 1, but they are better than no wards. They have the chance to tank it up a little bit as well. Oh... Okay, yes, he's dropping low on mana. Yes, gonna leave a remnant behind TP home. Just as I, I was about to suggest it, but... Top lane Miracle goes down, reincarnation pop. He's gonna get doomed up as well, but I think he's safe actually. Or is he the Fisher? The glimpse as well. He's not safe by any means. But Lobby comes in, blink, pops down the Master Pet Wars, Hex used on Spike as well. And Miracle, healing ward, gonna keep him alive for sure now. The healing ward too strong, and actually he might be on full HP if... Zero latches are not careful and the tower is dropping down Miracle Blink in the stun onto Lavida. Two more right clicks, that's all they need. They get the kill from easy. Gonna fall to KS on the Ember Spirit, and this is most likely gonna be Rex Death Prophet. He has buyback. He's gonna use this one. He has the exorcism. Thank God for him. But Doom is on cooldown. Zai, are they gonna Oh, they get the searing change, another Omni Slash. Bye bye, Doombringer. He also has the buyback, but Blink. They get the very far rest onto the death front. Will it be enough to lobby? The hex up onto Spike and the Earth Shaker shackled up. The silence is there. But it's not gonna be enough. Miracle gonna get dragged. I don't think back to his base. There's no force that Fisher comes out onto free exorcism. Finally popped the miracle. He's gonna go down with the Echo Slam to help out. 719 gold, but the Rex already down Kai. Play Fury, but no TP. Might go down. Nice hex onto Koala. But I still think they will suffer some casualties. They do have enough moments, but no! The searing change with the slight of risk from KS. Thrown up in the air by a new scepter. He's gonna go down already. No, he remnants into the enemy base. Sneaky place. By the TP. Oh, he finishes the crystalist. TP's out. Are you kidding me? Just enemy base, safest place to be. And GG called because of that. Blink in, hex by lobby as well. But 23 minutes in, I guess we didn't miss too much after all. Missed like the first couple of minutes, but no biggie guys. Unfortunately, no draft either. But we were here, we got to do it, and I'm gonna see if I can jump into the next game's lobby fast, unless it has already started. Hopefully I can, if not, just another Dota TV cast. But guys, hopefully you'll stay tuned, just stick around. More Dota incoming, so see you guys just in a couple of minutes time.